Hey guys, this is James from the Impossible Channel. We're going to be talking about some amazing footage, pictures, and actually documents that were sent to us this week. Well, take a look at this salvage program, uh, salvage options. This is, I believe, for Hillary Clinton. to talk about politics okay Clinton Foundation okay Benenson's tragedy group well so let's take a look here page six this is what uh, our pictures and videos that we got today here well they match this equipment over here now take a look at that you should pay attention right now if you're not okay and share this video right away recommended salvage fire sign company document for the government you know for a salvage campaign you know for the, the, the Hillary Clinton's campaign is the Department of Defense and NASA have coordinated on a black book project under the code name Firestein Firestein's aim is to create a religious awe effect it uses high-powered lasers to project real seeming images on the sodium layer 100 100 kilometers above the surface that's the low orbit layer these images can cover hundreds or even thousands of square miles and can appear completely real, three-dimensional and can move. So that means that Nibiru and all that we are seeing in the sky could be an illusion, even the sun. Now, we are going to be linking you with the patent that the government has for a fake sun. Okay, this is really serious because they have this patent since 1961. You know, anyway, I'm just, this is, what the heck is this, right? Why do they have this? This is just not right. Let's continue here, okay? So, uh, next we have a video. And I believe this is a time lapse, and this is just amazing. This car illusions, right? Let's take a look at this. We have a time lapse. What is this? This is not a bug in the lens, guys. This is not a bug in the camera lens. And take a look at that. The, the, it's a normal time lapse, right? But there's something there. Take a look. There's lens layer here, right? A bluish lens layer. And here you got this object. What the heck is that, guys? Take a look at that. You have this object. What is that? That's not normal. That's not a bug. Okay, there are people seeing that, and not only that, in the skies, I'm going to show you one more time, in the sky, okay, there are more people seeing orbs in the sky that move, you know. Remember, this is a time lapse, so we're not, we're seeing it very, you know, this is like slowly, look at that. Look at that. It disappears from here and appears over there. It moves, right, very slowly. But it moves in a non. Take a look, like it's a new. I think I believe this is a cloaked UFO. I really do. I believe this is a gigantic cloaked UFO. Okay, this is really serious, guys. This is not fake, and this is not a bacteria on the lens, on the camera lens. Okay, this is a picture of. So we're being watched. You know, we're being watched. This is a picture of two suns in the sky. Thank you all for sending them in. Please do continue doing that. Our email is that impossible channel at gmail.com. And we take a look at that, folks. That does not like likely, you know, I would say this is a sundog. Well, it's a sundog. James, of all people, you saying this is a sundog. Yeah, this is a sundog. But this is not a sundog. Okay? This does not look like a sundog. So, whatever it is, there's another object reflecting the sun over there, right? It could be Jupiter, whatever it is, I don't know. Take a look at that. It's in the same uh, place. It's still the same anonymous source. Okay, so that's wild, right? Yeah. So this is a time lapse from the sun, uh, I believe this is a sunset, okay? And also here we, we don't seem to, well, there's nothing weird, right? Except for when the sun's about to set, another light source supposedly shows up. Okay, what is that? Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, that was weird, right? So, let's continue. Again, the square sun, right? You're gonna ask me, right, James, yeah, here, take a look at that. Here you go. The square sun. You see it. 
It's really weird, right? What the heck? That's new. To me, that's new. I've never seen this. But it's here, you guys. It's more than one different source entity where there's something really wrong out there. This is a picture from Australia. And I believe that this is 3.42 a.m. in the morning, Sunday, October 23rd. There you go, here you go. Okay. And we have these light sources, very weird, right? Well, I gotta say, there's a weird light over here, pinkish. Do you see that? A pinkish reflection over here, oh my gosh. So worldwide, there's something going on, but people are seeing different things, okay? But anyway, here you go, this again. Very, very compelling image showing another light source at night. It's not the moon, okay? It's pretty weird, right? This is... Well, these are very, very... Let's take a look at that. Went over there. There's a whole bunch of trim shells over here. Went over there. And then there's like one back there. Not a tree over there. Uh, yeah, the sun is that way. Well, this this is a very compelling footage. You know, you got chemtrails there. You know, we got contrails and we got chemtrails. You know, people say the contrails are the, the, the skinny lines. You know, the chemtrails are the more thick lines. You know, well, whatever they are, they are there. You know, and they're doing that a lot, right? Lately, they've been doing this a lot, everywhere. You know, like everywhere. And they and some people, there are some people saying that this is actually to hide an object in the sky, right? So if we do have two suns, or if we do have like a binary star, or if we, I don't know, whatever it is. But there are other, there's another group of people that they're, say, they're saying that they are actually doing this to produce better holograms in the sky. You know what I mean? With this machine, I've just, you know, just showed you in that document. So if that is true, they could be producing these, uh, well, take a look at that. We've got two moons over here, right? That's just amazing. Um, well, I don't know, two moons. Two moons maybe just too strong. We got the moon and we got another orb there, you know. That's very weird. That could be Nibiru, you know. Could be Nibiru. Um, let's take a look here. I'm sorry, sorry, we're going up. Let's take a look. We got two suns. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to show you there's more than one picture. But um, it's two pictures, right? So there are two suns. Well, there's a tiny one right below our sun you know there's a tiny orb you know it seems to be another sun take a look at that you know okay take a look at that i'm going to show you it's a three pictures sequence from illinois this i believe this year okay united states okay uh take a look at that people people are seeing that now you know so yeah there's another object down there okay if we we can even open that let's open that on photoshop let's just you know let's reveal that Let's take a look at that. Let's take a better look at that. So whatever it is, you know, um, it could be the government testing these holographic uh, technologies on us, you know, but it's pretty serious. Whatever. Why would they do that, right? Why would they do that, you know? So we have what seems to be, oh my gosh, yep, what seems to be another light source down there, okay? Take a look at that. We have our sun, right? And there's another thing. Not necessarily this is a light source, but it's reflecting the sun's light very, very clearly. Do you see that? Okay. There you go. It's still there. Okay. It's round. Take a look. It's round. Okay. So that's pretty weird. Now we got this UFO on the moon from this pretty cool channel on YouTube. We're going to leave the link in the description. Okay. But the full footage is on their channel. Take a look at that. We got this UFO on the moon that seems to be like that black ghost, whatever the people calling, you know, that there's the black orb, you know, always floating around the moon. Sometimes it's really close to Earth, you know, it's really compelling, you know, take a look at that, you know, whatever it is. Whatever it is, take a look at that. It seems like, it seems like the, well, we, I don't know, looks like an alien pod to me. Well, and we've got these two videos for you right now. We can, you know, like this is very interesting. Fuck, that's the sun. And there's that. Huh? Okay, that take a look at the continuation. So whatever that is, you know, that's pretty messed up, you know. 
I don't know what that is, folks. We have, we definitely have something in our sky. The government may, may know about it, and the chemtrailing may be because of this. And uh, at the same time, we have documents that, you know, we don't know if this is, this, this is disinformation, whatever it is, showing us that Project Bluebeam may be real. Now, that is not good. The government may be forcing a new world order on us, okay? That's our final question to you. Do you think that's, that's what's going on? Do you think they're taking advantage of our open-minded, you know, uh, open-hearted and open-minded souls, you know, and, and, and reducing fake religious awes in the sky, you know, to, to, to buy into our hearts, you know, and, and make us believe in this new world or whatever. Uh, leave your comments, don't forget to share this, this is utterly important. Subscribe and comment below, and I'll see you again. Hey guys, this is Gentleman for the Impossible Channel. We're going to be talking about some amazing footage, pictures, and actually documents that were sent to us this week. Well, take a look at this salvage program, uh, salvage options. This is, I believe, for Hillary Clinton.